so I'd like to talk about a compiler, a Go compiler that we're building. Uh, but let me talk about the vision first. So I work in an Internet of Things project, and what we would like is for you to be able to run anything anywhere. Uh, and what we mean by that is uh, to be able to develop as well as run your code. So develop your code, debug it, run it, run it on your laptop, run it on your phone, run it on your refrigerator, run it on your toaster, all these different kinds of devices. Um, <clears throat> and they're going to be different machine architectures and uh, uh, different platforms. Now, how is this going to work? Now, currently, the most viable platform for running code uh, portably across devices to some degree is called uh, Portable Native Client. This is a Google thing. Um, and it's a sandboxing technology. It only runs in Chrome. Um, but you generate LLVM uh, bit code, intermediate code. You ship it to the browser, and the browser can run it safely in a sandbox. So the idea is you take your Go program, you run our compiler, you generate an a intermediate file, uh, you ship that to your browser, and it can run there, and it's going to be trusted. Um, this is, uh, in the future, this will be probably WebAssembly. This will be a cross-platform uh, uh, intermediate representation. But I'm going to talk about the uh, native client work that we're doing. OK, so this is LLVM. Um, and LLVM and a portable native client, we call a pinnacle, has some constraints. And one is that uh, the stack is off limits. Now, we want perfect compatibility with the normal GC runtime. This is the compiler that most of you are probably using, not GCC Go, this is, and this is not LL Go. We want absolute compliance with the normal GC runtime. Um, and so we want support for Go routine stack extension and all the normal things that um, that Go supports, but we can't use the LLVM stack. It's off limits. Pinnacle won't let us touch it. So what do we do um, is uh, we, we uh, introduce or we use uh, an explicit Go stack and we ignore the LLVM stack. Um, so just to describe how this works, um, so the Go client convention is a little bit unusual. So the return value, space for the return values and the parameters are pushed on the stack on a function call and the return address. So if we have a function that takes two parameters and returns two values, uh, we allocate space for the return values, then the parameters, then the uh, return address. Um, and then we, when we make a function call, we do the same thing. So in order to do that, we can't do this on the LLVM stack, on the sandbox stack. So we just generate code that performs these operations explicitly and pass a stack pointer. So if you see there, there's a function f that takes a, a stack pointer, and, we, and uh, we allocate that explicitly and push the parameters and return values on that stack. All right, so the phases of our compiler are uh, like this. We use the SSA Go tools SSA parser to parse the program. We generate the code in direct style. Then we perform a continuation passing style conversion to do this uh, explicit stack transformation. Then we do a simplification, and we generate the portable code at the end. Um, and this is all open source. If you want to look at it, it's at uh, vanadium.googlesource.com. Vanadium is the title of the project that this is under. And if you want to look at Vanadium, the Internet of Things project that uses Go throughout to develop a IoT infrastructure, you can just look at it at v.io. All right, thank you.